Welcome back to Sonic Heroes Action Replay. We are now in the uh, last couple of parts of the Egg Fleet, the penultimate stage of Sonic Heroes. Eggman with his speech as always. I'm waiting for the explosions. Oh, there, there'll be explosions, don't worry. Right now we're just kind of infiltrating. Wait a minute, I thought that was your editing. Is that really how the game goes? Oh yeah, yeah. Just really quick speed up and slow down? That's how it goes, yeah. Oh. Now, I mean, now I'm in control. Big is just gone. Oh yeah, he's gone like ten times. Big, I believe, works on a different sort of... Uh, he, he works differently than any other character in the game does. And I think it is due to his size. I'm starting to think that Big is the programming equivalent to a Yo Mama joke. It's like, you know, Big the Cat is so big, he, when he goes around town, he goes around town. Or, his his belt is the equator. Big's so big, he needs his own codes because they don't work on him. Big so big, he has his own gravitational pull. Look at him. Like, even with this action replay, I think Amy is the only one where these codes work consistently, because sometimes they don't work for Cream either. So it's just Amy. Sometimes they work for Cream, sometimes they don't, but consistently, it works for Amy. Hmm. This level's already feeling kind of different than the others, don't you think? Does it depend on who's in the lead? Maybe? I, I think it's just Big. I think Big's just fucking everything up. <laughs> God damn it, Big. We gave you one job. You didn't give me any job. And you still fucked it up! Precisely, yes. The whole lot of nothing we gave you? Yeah, you keep messing that up. Huh? What's this? It's a... It, oh. Oh, just a big pointy stick. God, who gets impaled on that? Who's the unlucky SOB that does that? Hey, what's that? Oh, ah! that was close. I almost got impaled on it. Oh no, Charmy! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just visualizing. Yeah. Okay, have you seen the scene in Dead Space with the laser in the eyes? That's Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2? Sorry. That's how much I've seen it. Yep. Uh... Th like, th that only exists to make viewers go, Ew, Oh yeah, definitely. No, no, other, no other purpose, because I'm, I'm imagining some scientist uh, in, in like a design room saying, Alright, so check it. Here we go. You got like, you know, a laser that goes into the eye. Mm -hmm. If the user doesn't do it right, it jams a gigantic needle into their eye socket, mm -hmm. killing them instantly, if they're lucky. Was um... It? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, can they... Do you have any other ideas, perhaps? See, that's just the... The... <laughs> Scenario I was thinking of with that giant pinpoint of an antenna. You're just like, you know, you know, if Big the Cat goes too close to that, he's just gonna impale it straight into his face. I think he's just gonna pop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's able to fly around everywhere. <laughs> there he goes. Oh wow, we're still flying. And Big and is still trying. And that's what I mean. That Big is different because. <laughs> You know, I'm just using the raising jump after a launch, so they're locked in this pose as they as they go higher. But Big doesn't know what the fuck to do, <laughs> which tells me that, that he's working on an entirely different beat. He's working on with an entirely different different set of tools here. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that Big is different? He's weird. I got two shields. How did I get two shields? Uh, but run I just kept one, but yeah, I got two of them now. Run, run with it. Run with it. Just just take it. I'm trying. You know, I'm, I'm visualizing in my mind every time Big goes flying off into the stratosphere whenever you're doing the super jump that he has Patrick Starr's scream and it's making me smile. <laughs> exactly. It would be so perfect. Oh, uh, let's see if we can go that hidden way. Oh, yeah. Where we, like, go up. Yeah, yeah show me the hidden way. And then we go down. Well, down in air yeah, quotes. right over here and... Oh, yeah. yeah, this is, this mm -hmm. is a weird. What a weird route. Is this telegraphed at all? It's telegraphed in the other ones where characters say, Go up, go down! But they didn't say anything here. So it works. So it works. And it, I think it's just a, a little bit I'll of a I'll be skip. darned. Well, I, sa I saved some time, Niskel. Aw, you did it. My score might take a bit of a hit, but we'll be okay. Hey, that's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, I, we'll I, get through I don't this. know why. I don't know why. I just feel like everything's going to be okay in the end. I, I just have a feeling. I just... Yeah, it's just... It's a feeling, you know? Yeah, a feeling. Sonic Heroes is a feeling. I feel it. I don't know what I feel when I think about Sonic Heroes. Thank you, Sonic Heroes. I now feel something. 
for the unfeeling android that I am. Thank you for uh, representing me. I kind of warmed up to it a little bit around this time. It might just be Stockholm Syndrome because I'm stuck playing this, but... I've had that a few times. Like, it's, it's just, well, now that I'm forced to play, it isn't that bad, I guess. Could be a lot worse. Keep telling yourself that. It could, it could, I've played worse. Mm hmm It could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Foreshadowing. Here we go! Foreshadowing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It could be a lot worse. As oh, in oh, there's, there's the as cool. in there's foreshadows. Yeah, there's the end, cool. All right, cool. All right. We did it. Yeah, great. Good job. Careful, he's inflated with helium. It's hydrogen! Oh, step back then. Step back. What happens if we light big on fire? Is there going to be a big ball of fire? We're like big explosion, maybe? I don't know. I think his uh, fur doesn't catch fire too easily. Damn it! A water-resistant balloon with highly flammable gas inside. Oh my. All right. Wait, we got a key? Nope, we did not get a key, but we do have a code where we can go into the special stages whenever That's we want to. true. Okay, so this go. Is the, this is the uh, final special stage. There are, like, nothing but bombs here. And I have found something out about these balls. They do more than just uh, keep you from dying and give you speed. They also add time. Oh, so there is a point. You see? The, the more balls you miss, the more time ticks down. Wait. So you lose time if you miss the balls? Well, because time's constantly talk, uh, constantly ticking down. Oh, that's true. And because time is not ticking down for us because of the action replay codes, we're getting Shh. a lot. Of, we're just we're just adding on time. Don't mention the action replay. It does not exist. This is how Sonic Heroes has always run. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I would laugh if the you action replay codes actually fixed the game. A little disappointed in my score up there, though. I hope I can get, I can get a little higher than that. Look, if you can manage to get one more point, because right now you're doing terribly. I'm get, trying! I get can't that get another one point, point, dude! There's no more points in this fucking level! It's one point. There's no more points! I got them all! My dude, it's one point. <laughs> Look, the time you glitched out the timer. It's not even... Oh, there we go. Now it's moving. It, oh, I, I don't think you're going anywhere. <laughs> I, I, I got caught in a, uh, <laughs> in a corner there. Help, help, help. I can't go forward. Help. <laughs> <laughs> you actually are getting stuck on. He's like, all right, let's almost. let's let's calm down a little bit here. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the end. We made it. Ta -da. Can I go any further? Nope, guess not. Hey, you got that one point. Oh wait, I haven't seen the score yet. Hold on. I got a clear mission. That's good. I got. Oh there. Oh there we go. At least one point. We got it. I I think I got a score. It didn't give me a score. It just said, yeah, you know. All just, right. Just Infiltrate a, the eh. flagship without being detected by enemies. I like it when Chaotix levels are stealthy. I don't like it when they're telling me to collect random bullshit around the level and do shit like that. This is a good one. I like stealth. Stealth works. Let's do it. Espio's a stealthy guy. He can do all the stealth. No problem. That's cool. Let's do it. Woo! How did they mess it up? What makes you think they're gonna mess it up? It's just safe to assume that Team Chaotix messes it up. This is fine. Don't worry. Let's see, start a timer on how long it takes UDJ to get caught. Alright, so we got the action replay codes. It seems pretty easy, you know. Mm -hmm. They they want us to get to probably sneak through these robot fields up there, you know, we can tell by the by the icons there. And if we just kind of float over them and zoot past them, they won't catch us. Okay, they caught us. Alright, uh alright, obviously we uh, we were we were too low and we we were in their cone of detection. Let's go a little higher, try again. No. I got it. I'll be invisible. Perfect. No. They'll never see me this way. No. How do they see me? Uh, there's a wall of code. Is there really a wall? I think so. That doesn't sound right. Why would they put an entire wall of code there? Especially if they want me to mingle in there later on. All right, what if I do this? I'm going to turn... I'm going to turn Espio invisible. I'm going to leave my friends behind. All right, are they following me? No. All right. So I'm going to turn invisible, and now I can pass over undetected. What happened last time is that I was invisible, but my friends weren't. No. So I'm just leaving them there. No. This is now the adventure of Espio the Chameleon Heroes. This is what we wanted. All I'd, those years. Yeah, I'd have more fun with this. 
Yeah, no, I'm 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 having a good time here. This, this is this is great. Just had to pass through um, TSA security. <laughs> Just got to get rid of uh, the the croc and the bee. And hey, look at that, we're having a good time here, folks. It, it all works. Yeah. Oh wow. I, I'm sure those would have been intimidating if they could see me, but they can't because I'm invisible. I'm a fucking chameleon. I could fly around too. Super ultra ninja power. This is the ninja power he was talking about. Espio's in a whole nother league. In fact, I don't need you guys anymore. I'm making my own company. Later. You know, there are games out there, there are that indeed. have stealth missions yeah. that you lose if your AI partners get caught. Uh-huh. This is one of them. It is the worst, and I hate it, and you need all of Team Chaotix to get through this door. So that's okay. That's okay. We can still make this work. Because apparently attacking them doesn't... They're, they're not, like, smart guards. But we can just skip that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, thank God. Thank you for finding all the exploits. You can do all this in-game! <coughs> <clears throat> can you, can you, uh, can you just add a little asterisk <laughs> next to this? Uh, Alright, let me just get the asterisk in here. <laughs> Bring it in! Oh, it's colossal! <laughs> Yeah, just a little asterisk there. Uh, uh, might not be doable without the use of a te of a cheat device. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's always there a catch. I knew there was a battleship up there that they take you to, and oh fuck! Ready anytime. I hit the kill plane for that. Ah, no. oh, damn it! Are right, you idiots? Stay here. I'm gonna go beat the level. Why is there a kill plane up? Because it's it's the kill plane when you're already up, and then when you fall, that's the, make sure you don't fall like two hundred thousand years, like in some other places in other levels. But here we go. I need to get Charmy here. Fuck it. I hate needing my friends. Let's go. You I know, just want to go be a ninja by myself. A talk about Dead Space comparisons just makes me want to accidentally push Charmy into a meat grinder or something like that. You just have a lot of contempt for the character, is what Oops. I'm getting. Well. I've never liked Charmy the Bee. No one did. So I'm glad we're all in agreement. Right. But he's a bee. You gotta save the bees. We do have Motherfuckers to save the bees. got us by the balls. It's like, yeah, he's annoying as fuck, but he makes our food. We gotta keep him around. God damn it. I don't want to think that Charmy is the source of my sustenance. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, and I hate it. <laughs> He knows exactly what he's doing, and I hate it. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, <laughs> uh, I hate needing the bee. Let's go. <laughs> that almost sounds like Charmy's a mob boss. Is like, hey, you need the bee? Yeah. Yeah, that's the voice he puts on when he's not, you know, on camera. He's like, let's go, SPO. All right, make sure you get all the rings. Understand? Yeah. You need to pay me back, remember? You miss a single ring, I'm gonna break both of your kneecaps. Mm -hmm. And when they grow back, I'm gonna break them again. You wanna know what I did to Vector? Oh, what are you talking about? Vector's right here. Nah, third Vector. Talk about the real one. Yes, hello, I am Vector. He's gone. Alright, this seems like it'd be dangerous if I'm trying to stay hidden, so I'm just gonna go over, because... Oh, hey, well, there we go. What? Uh, okay, cool. What the hell's the rest of the episode gonna be? Yeah, what is the rest of the episode gonna be? I mean, that thought it'd take longer than this. Nope, time I... to break it! Huh. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think of something. Yeah. I, could, I could do another challenge, I could put, put the GameCube back up so we can work with more codes that won't fucking work. Ninja power. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Maybe I could get the PS2 version working. What to do? Yeah. I think I'll do that. Let me, let me, all right, let me let me try and get this PS2 version working. Hang on, just just one second. All right, just let me go ahead and switch to. All right, and uh, all right, here we go. Let's try it out. Okay, we see life. All right, there we go. I was honestly expecting it to boot up the PS1 logo. So, uh, apparently, mm -hmm. Sonic Heroes hates action replay. I wonder if there's a lockout. I don't know if there is, but... If I even... have a memory card that has touched... an action replay touched save file... this game will not boot at all. So huh. if I leave no memory card in, that's the only way I can get it to run. So you can... 
So, for the rest of this episode, we're going to do the first uh, mission of Sonic here, of uh, Team Sonic. And we're going to run on the PS2 version and see how that does. If it does. That's a big if. Ooh, it's a big if. The, it, the music is already kind of out of sync with how it should be with the GameCube version. Yeah, we're going to go without saving, you know, we just... Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. Oh, well, the desyncing audio, I thought that was just a feature of the PS2. Alright, go over to one player play story... Oh, I gotta load. Oh, it's way slower than the GameCube version. Everything's yeah, alright so far. Here we go! Alright, action replay activated. No, no action replay activated. This is no codes. Oh! I can't- I can't get him to work! Okay. If, if I- if I put anything with codes anywhere near this game, it will be like, nope. It will not run! At all! I wonder if they expected that. Maybe they did! Of course this game runs like shit! This game yeah. runs like poop! Yeah, that's the other problem. So, so, I was baffled back in the day, seeing Sonic Heroes for the GameCube, the only console I really cared about back then, before I got my PS2, and it got these sevens, which is weird to me. But then, you know, years later, I looked back at the PS2 version when I actually got it, and, oh, th oh this one's getting, like, fives and all that. Oh, this one's, this one's actually the, oh, it's, it's the worst version? Really? I wonder why. Oh, no. Let's find out. Oh, this should be special. All right, so, uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, it's trying its damage just to load this level. Like, it's really trying hard, my god. Why are Sony products so yeah. hard to make games for? Uh, see, I, what I think it was, I can't speak for the Xbox version, but I think that this was kind of optimized for, like, the GameCube. And it just, they just did, did, did not do a good poor job on the PS2. Not a good conversion. Because there's a lot of bad pop-in, too. That's another really bad thing. It's almost like every time you advance 60 frames, I see something else move in the background. You know how the robots have little icons above them showing that they're sleeping and then they're awake? Oh my That's Lord. why, because they literally just appear. But the icon appears before the robot does. Oh. So they're there to let you know that there's an enemy there that you'll see before the enemy. The, the, the voice oh. clips that they use are also like... They're like a, a, a low res version. It just it just sounds oh, worse. Compression, baby. They're really compressed. I don't know why. I don't know how. Yeah, suck it, PS2. It just seems to run slower too. I don't know. Just it's, everything's popping in so bad. It's awful. Oh, I'm loving this. Ugh. Vindication. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Vindication. So maybe it's a good thing that I got the GameCube version after all, because I was going to do this uh, version with, with the PS2 version. But... Yeah, we would have had a lot more to talk about. I remember it running this bad, though. Because when I uh, fooled you in the last multiplayer special for Shadow the Hedgehog, this is the version that we used. Oh, wow, I don't even remember that. Because you were wasted. It was a drunken well, multiplayer uh, special. That, yeah, that didn't help. I do know Sonic 06 showed up at one point. It did, yes, it was very end. I remember that. Boy, do I remember that. Mm hmm It was the greatest prank I ever pulled. Yeah, I'll give you that one. How dare you... How dare you fool... a young... not coherent Nisko... <laughs> into playing Sonic 06. I mean, I'm hoping I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm keeping you on your toes with this game. Well, so far so good. I've seen some amazing things happen in Sonic Heroes. And that's what I came here for. This just feels weird. Ugh. This is this, this version poopy. It doesn't help that the GameCube controller and the PS2 controller are two vastly different fossils. How did I get... Did they... They can just run up that, okay. 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 Sure. Yeah, I feel really bad for people who develop for strictly Sony consoles. Like, I don't know how Naughty Dog and Insomniac still have, like, their regular hair color instead of it turning gray from trying to make... Sony consoles. Well, they've had practice. They're they're first party. Oh, that's true. They've they 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 are not only you know they're experienced with that stuff. See, the bad thing is, I this is the DVD era, yeah. Uh, yeah, about yeah about the start of this. About, about the start of the DVD era. So a lot of compression happening, not a lot of space on the disc. It's trying its best, but I can totally see your PS2 smoking right now. It's doing its damnedest. It's apparently the game, because it can run everything else just fine. I wonder if there's too much going in the background. 
So, now that we've turned Sonic Heroes into a programming course, because of all these lovely codes... I'd like to think that on this show we, uh, like to look at the technical aspect of things sometimes. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Educate the gentleman that we are. I'm just wondering what- Oh, oh. that was a lag spike that made oh. you go through the ring. That was a lag spike to impale Vector on. That sounds great. Yeah. Oh god, now I'm imagining doing a Chaotix level like this. Oh yeah, can you can you imagine this? I I don't want to. Yeah, so is it the environment that it can't handle? See, there was no lag on that, but just having the I hmm. see I want to think just, you know, pure speculations, you know, yeah. from a guy who doesn't know. That the three heroes interchanging and having their own set animations and, and everything like that is too much. It can't handle three heroes. Maybe the Xbox could, because, you know, in terms of processing power, the PS2 loses. Mm -hmm. But in terms of good games, PS2 wins. Yeah. Because uh, the GameCube and Xbox barely had any games. <laughs> I still love my GameCube. Yeah, I do too. I got the games I wanted. No comment. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's all I could say. Same with the Xbox. Oh uh, yes, I Game got the games I wanted. The GameCube, my first and last interaction with Naruto. <laughs> it's where I learned to love Resident Evil. Thanks, GameCube. It's where I learned that I was actually a gigantic anime snob. Thank you, Tales of Symphonia. I thought you liked that game. I do like that game. In fact, I love that game. No game has ever matched the heights of the love I felt for that game. Ah, oh, thanks, that's, that's Tales a, that's of Symphonia. A lie. Thank that's you, a, Tales. That's a lie, but not really. But yes. But actually, no. But also, yes. But no. But How yes. many of you out there still have your original Xbox? Asking for science. I do. The, not, the one I don't have. So I still have my original one. That's the... Nothing. The only reason I ask is because somehow I lost my original Xbox. You lost it? No idea where it went. Must have gotten misplaced in a move. Did it get stolen? I don't think so. I just know at one point I had it, I put it in storage, and then I never found it again. So hmm. I went out and bought another one. As recent as last year. Did you lose that one too? Nope, still good. How you losing Xboxes? They're gigantic! I know! Fucking VCRs! And I thought the Xbox original Xbox One was bad. But no, I forgot how heavy the system is. I forgot how big and stupid the controllers are. Oh, what the hell? What? I want to that, look down there, but is that death? I think it might be. De I don't. I don't think it's death. But you mm. know, I don't. I don't want to find out. I really don't want to find out. So I'm not gonna find out. Let's get out of here. Anyway, the reason I asked for science is. Mainly because nobody bought Xbox versions of anything. That's why they're all so friggin' rare. And the game crashed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's gotta think. Wait, is it clear or not? Let's see. Uh, hello? And predictably, what do we get? We get, of course, an E-Rank. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, bite me. Yeah, no. No PS2 version. You get an E-Rank. I give you a... Shoot! Not your day! Oh, man! Oh, dear boy. Well, uh, we'll see you next time on Sonic Heroes Action Replay with, uh... We're gonna be heading to the final level of the game, <gasps> Final Fortress. What? See you then.